Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Saksham here with us, who has been recently placed at Ericsson R&D, and he is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we look at his experience, let us look at the eligibility criteria for this company. Also, Ericsson is a super dream company in VIT. Now let's look at the eligibility criteria. So students from all branches of CSC, ECM and IT were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 7.5 or 75% in 10th and 12th as well as a 6.5 or 65% in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Saksham. Hi Saksham, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Hi, thank you, thank you very much. Um, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, so hi, I'm Saksha Mishra. I'm in the seventh semester and currently pursuing electronics and computer engineering from VIT Chennai. Okay. Uh, I have interest in football and I just got placed in uh, uh, Ericsson Global R&D department. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay, so the placement process is, let's say it's a lengthy process actually. Okay. So it starts with a very simple, you can say, coding round and aptitude round. Mm -hmm. It's a shortlisting round. You will have around 45 questions for 45 minutes. That will come. That will have a basic verbal reasoning, aptitude test, and uh, some other social skills, soft skills. Okay. Apart from that, they have three coding questions. They are around easy to medium difficulty level. Mm -hmm. And once you get shortlisted, they shortlist around 100 or 150 students. After that, they will have an interview. In the interview, they will set up a, you can say, a group interview in which you will enter the waiting room and everything, and then they'll call you by name. Okay. And you have to give in front of a panel. Hmm. In my panel, there were three people. Uh, this was not so con like conventional interview as uh, he used to prepare for DS and everything. Right. In this, they majorly focused on the project, and uh, you can say if you have any internship related to ML. Hmm. That's what they were looking for. Okay. They asked me that do you have any experience in machine learning or do you have any experience in deep hmm. learning hmm. projects or, or you have done any internships. So I explained them that I had a something Prism internship, I explained them this everything. Hmm. After that they gave me a real life example of uh, how we can use data visualization using Python on a web app. Okay. And they wanted me to you say, implement it on the at particular moment, they gave me a database of uh, Amazon Fire Stick reviews. Okay. And he asked me to create a collab notebook, Google collab notebook, and to sort the reviews in uh, three different ways: uh, good, better, and uh, like you can say the positive reviews, neutral reviews, or negative reviews. Hmm. So this was the whole the major thing that they asked me to do in that interview. It went around 45 minutes interview it was, okay. 15 minutes they asked me about everything and the half an hour was this process. Hmm. The interview was very, you can say friendly, he helped me a lot because it was, it's not something that we are taught in the college hmm. and definitely you can't be doing it like instantaneously, you can't right. come up with something like that. Right. So he gave me a few tips like yeah you can go this, you can do this and he was basically looking that if you have that mindset to how to approach a problem, hmm. like how would you do it if you can, if you come up with something like this in real life. Hmm. And I think he was satisfied with my example or the suggestion that I gave him solution. Hmm. Hmm. And then I have to wait for around half an hour. My interview was around 4 p.m. in the evening. Uh, around 5 it was over. Until 5.30 I got a call that you have a managerial interview. Hmm. In the managerial inter interview, there was a manager from the company. And she was interested in my projects and the interview internships only. So she wanted me to explain everything about what I did in the project and how I proceed in that, what was the better things that I could have done and what are the my takeaways from the project. And then she came to my internship tips that I had done the GE internship, uh, general electric internship as well. So she wanted to ask that how can you solve these things, the issues that were given to me using machine learning. Hmm. And then she was interested, basically, basically she was interested in the Samsung Prism internship okay. that's related to NLP. So she wanted to ask me what the qualification of my, you can say, knowledge level of NLP and everything. Hmm. So that went for around 20-25 minutes and uh, then after a two day halt, they gave, gave out the result. The next day they gave out the result, yeah, next evening they gave out the result. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience and congrats again. Do you have any suggestions for people who wanted to get into Super Dream companies? Uh, the my takeaways from the interview was that first of all they need they have a very good threshold for the qualification. I believe it's about 80 to 85. Percentage of you have to do if it's MCQ and if it's sports thing, then it's hundred percent. Hmm. Uh, apart from that, I believe three things are important. You need to solve DSA questions. You have to practice DSA, and you should know basic fifteen twenty algorithms. That's hmm. necessary. Anyone can ask that. Hmm. The second one is people which usually miss out is soft skill. You should never miss out soft skill because in the qualification test they give a very tedious time for a lot number of questions. Hmm. You have to do it. With the hundred percent accuracy, right. that's very much required. The third thing is patience, because what I believe was I was I was in I was shortlisted for a few companies, but I didn't get the. So you can lose patience in the process. So that's right. very important, I believe. If you have patience, then you can uh, do good things for yourself. Okay. Uh, thank you so much again for sharing your uh, experience and your suggestions. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Jay. Thank you. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful. That would really help me out to bring in more people and more interview experiences from different companies. So thank you for watching and do keep supporting me. Thank you.